picking up where I left off on this guitar. I put three coats of lacquer on it and three coats of a clear coat. And now I'm gonna remove the masking and see how it looks. So I wanna score around these little masks around the headstock logo here. Now obviously it looks really shiny and the rest of the guitar is a little more dull. So I gotta do something about that. Okay, here's the neck all finished. And the guitar needs to, need to just even up these finishes. I'm gonna give everything a once over with a ultra fine scotch bright pad. I'm gonna kind of dull everything down first and then I'm gonna go and buff everything back. Just wanna hit it really lightly. Cause I don't know how thick the finish is that's on this guitar. And I'm not sure what kind of finish it is. It might be shellac. It's a little rough. And so this will help smooth it out. And then when I buff it, I'm just gonna do a hand buffing on it. That'll even up a lot of the finish on evenness. This neck is ultra smooth compared to this. that's okay. I kind of want the neck to be nice and slick anyway. I just don't like it real shiny so I might actually keep this plain section kind of on the satin dull side. The other thing, kind of put a little finish over these fret dot markers, so we try to bring those back. I can always do a little lacquer touch up on this. It's got these weird marks on here. Not sure what that is. Be just some residue. Well, it is a 90 year old guitar according to this date on the headstock 1933. That's when I think the neck was built. The, the body might even be older. It's going to use a little bit of this fine polishing compound. Let's start with this. A fine old headstock. Kind of like that a little flat. I think I'm just going to do the back here, polish that, and keep the neck. And then I'll go ahead and polish the body, the sides, and and back. Kinda like that see how this back polishes up. You can see the finish is coming off a little bit. I really don't know what this is finished with. It is picking up a little shine. You can see the difference. I don't want to go too heavy on the polishing. You can see the colors coming off.
I'm gonna go over with a little just a white polishing cleaner. Try to clean up some of the residue. I'm gonna clean the top too just to see how that comes out. So now the finish is pretty even all over. The color matched perfectly. Look at that neck. Red mahogany is red mahogany. They don't deviate too much from that color. Be standard. So what's next? What's next? Probably the tuners will probably be next. Can't do any strings without tuners. So let me in install those tuners. hang over the edge a little bit. Definitely homemade little jobber here. Now I've got the back, the sides, the neck, all pretty well cleaned up and got a nice finish on everything. I need to put a finish on the top. As you can see, it's flat. There's really no finish on here. I think they just stained it. And so I'm gonna put a true oil, a couple coats of this on there and see how that comes out. I want to lay this flat so it dries nice and flat. I'm gonna let that dry a couple hours and come back, maybe light sanding with a little steel wool and then I'll apply another coat and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is after two coats of the true oil. The finish did get a little richer, the color, and definitely more shine. I'm really happy with the way this looks. I just did a little bit of buffing with some steel wool and then just wiped it back with a rag. Just kind of did some hand buffing on it. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, the next step is to get this bridge and tailpiece put on the guitar. And let's see if we can get some strings on here and see where we sit with the action. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it.